I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. That's the giddiest I've seen you on a morning day. I've changed for the better this time. Good morning, Fisher people. I yeah, I'm all the nice fish on TV. Be this fine. is David Wood from Bag Up TV. I strive just to say I'm alright. And for the first time in a long time, I'm alright. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. the folks. I ain't going back, I'm not falling. I'll push nice. all my chips and call all in. I'll bet on myself, you keep falling. I hear destiny and this calling. I'll keep my head up high through the downs and lows and we're all going life. Still nobody knows, but I'ma choose what's right and take what comes and goes. And ain't no one in life holding me back no more. I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. <laughs> <Things are not laughs> really I can see everything. This has even been nice. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, I back a year ago. <laughs> it's a what he sees video. <laughs> oh well. That's fishing for you, folks. Oh, well, it is 10 to 8. Got to be there for it. Half past 8. I'll have to tell them not, really, aren't I? No, no thanks, love. All right, sound. Cheers, love. Cheers, love, thanks. <coughs> right. We're at McDonald's. For all you lovers of McDonald's out there, we got up a little bit late, so I thought I'd nip to the drive through get a McDonald's for the journey. We've got a 40 minute journey, really, 45 minute journey to Old Croft. It is for the last round of the Feeder Master Winter Pairs. So, let's get there now. Mac is on the way. Let's see what happens today. Toodaloo. Let's call Nosher. Tell him that we're uh, gonna be late. Nearly quarter past eight. Oh, look at me McDonald's down, me. Right, dialing, dialing. You won't be happy. Sweet then. Yeah, he'll be talking to Bloody Steve Ringer. Hiya Steve, hiya Steve. Oh no no Steve. Oh, love you Steve. Love you Steve. That's what I'll be saying all the time. Following Steve. Oh, he's here, he's here. He's put Steve Ringer on hold. Alan? I'm on my way. Yeah. Could be a little late. 
new rules and you're only with you. <laughs> just because you brought me the option and took it as far as Oh, gutted last night. Gutted. Did you see did you see it post at all? Yeah, uh, did you see yeah, it was funny, did you see mine as well? Yeah. It were a good laugh, weren't it? I didn't get it. <laughs> For God's sake, you alright. Alright, I'll wait a bit long. See you in a bit. Well, he uh, weren't so happy, were he? But, I'm on my way, what could I do? We were fishing yesterday, and um, when you fish yesterday, fish, it's hard work to get out of bed, so. <laughs> right, let's get there, because he doesn't sound happy. Uh, here good morning, we go. good morning. Here we so go. you're Start doing this again. time, mate. You've this is for Alan. You've yes. demoted Alan. It can be. You're putting your hand in. This is for you. That's the rules. I don't like Nothing that. changes. What do you mean you don't like it? Yeah. Bridge and Croft for you. I bet the both no of you. No swearing. I'll cut it all out anyway. This is for Alan. <laughs> this is for Alan. <laughs> Despite his best efforts to confuse it and change the rules. Sorry, 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 sorry. Yeah. I'm going on 14. So you're glad you've enjoyed it. In five-year rules, it's a good place. Is that a malfunction? Let me check, both of them. Are they both got B on them? The video cinematic. Let me see. Of course they have. Oh, B. Yeah. B. Yeah, of course. (laughs) All right. I knew it. Yo, don't mess with OJ. I know. Here, you'll be testing elastic out. Have we got all else to pull with yeah, elastic? Yeah, yeah. I'll pull you with um, well, this is for your partner. This is for your partner. Right, good morning, fish people. I'm Alan Noyes from Fish on TV. This is David Wood from Bag Up TV. We are here at Hawcroft Fisheries once again. Spent some time here today, haven't we? For the final round of the Feeder Master Winter Pears. Do you know, <laughs> Interesting. I'm still angry with you about yesterday. Oh, for God's sake, get over it. You shouldn't have been fishing in my peg all day. He talks some absolute crap, this fella. I'm, I'm sat in front of my peg. We, we figure out where we're casting. He's a peg away because he can't cast Two straight. pegs away, by the way. So, any, I, didn't, I didn't cast in his peg all day. He didn't cast in mine, really, to be honest. I thought it was quite fair when we were fishing. Yeah. But... Listen, there's aliens coming from another planet. America have shot down two aliens. There's a blooming Chinese balloon flying over, us spying on us. What else is happening? There's a ridiculous earthquake. What's just happened in Syria? That ain't no laughing matter, really. Turkey, but Turkey, Turkey, Turkey it, yeah. yeah, that is quite no, bad. That so, awful, yeah, that. that is awful. You know, what's happening in the world today? And then I go to Boston Lakes yesterday, and this idiot beats me from next peg. That's what's happening in the world today. Quite easy as well, by the way. Very comfortable to <clears> win. You wouldn't, you wouldn't have won if things wouldn't have happened. Things, things happened, man. Listen, when you try and keep up with the mightiest at casting and you break your rod doing so, it teaches you a lesson. Just fish your own, fish your own game, Dave. I will not fish in my own game. <laughs> Listen, Listen, this is the what? first time you beat me I, in I didn't, I didn't, four years of fishing. I didn't laugh at breaking your rod because I don't, <clears> I don't <throat> like stuff like that. <clears throat> but... Once I'd give you an egg sandwich and I could see you were a bit happier, I had a little giggle to yeah. myself. Anyway, after that, he gave me an egg sandwich uh, after I gave him a few freebies and stuff this, this yesterday morning. Yeah, actually, I'm really kind. I tell you, he, he, he slags me up, but he's, he's not a bad lad when he tries. Well, I'm, you know, I've been coaching him a bit, and I've been through showing him a few tricks <laughs> at way because he, he'd no idea. Tricks at way, and he's doing all right. <laughs> tricks it's like the trade. apprentice. You know? <laughs> tricks at way. Listen, I'm <laughs> so I want. I find it funny. Oh dear. He's an idiot. I love talking to him. I have a right. Anyway, so. He's actually very, very funny and don't realise it. <laughs> so, today is the last round of the Feeder Masters Winter Pairs, All Craft Fisheries. Probably already said this, cause I, but I was just sat there uh, thinking about it yesterday. Yeah. New day, new dawn. So, have we moved on now, Dave? For God's sake. Yeah, it's I'll let you. Of, it's I'll let you. Of, like, let you. 
18 hours this so we've drawn we've gone in the queue and I, I, when I drew I said right this is right he goes no 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 this is for you I said no this is for Alan this he says this is you're not this is Mick Viles, Viles it, because you're not changing the way that we've done it I says both them counters in that bag have probably got bridge on them that's why you don't let people see them and him and, him and Lee Kerry <laughs> you have like, yeah <laughs> him and Lee Kerry <laughs> Like thick as thieves. Do you realise that'll be best bite you've had all day? Yeah, no. Yeah. Really thick as thieves, yeah. Go on, Mick. So he said out. <laughs> and um, <laughs> so I thought I'd have agitate him a bit more. Yeah. You know, but, <laughs> so agitate. Yeah. A bit well. More. Anyway, we've drawn, haven't we? <clears throat> before we get <clears throat> going, look what so new bakes have given us, <clears throat> Dave. What's that? Just because they like me and you, some free ground bait. Oh, F1 biggest sweet. Oh. Yeah. Just, just open your window a second, because I want to. There's a bird just there. I'm David, gonna... if you hold on a minute, not just dropped off the back of a truck. Hold on, thanks, I'll, thanks, I'll I'll have it. <sighs> Just chuck it out, window. Thanks for that. <laughs> yeah, me. you can have that, Alan. Here, get it out, window. <laughs> <laughs> Are we going to get that. talking fishing? Because I'm sure these people think we're a set of stupid idiots. Yeah. So I've drawn, I drew, and uh, I've drawn Alan. N peg 11. 11. Absolute it 11. flyer on moat is the N peg. It's not 11. Yes, you are. I thought you said it was 14. You're on 11. Am I? N peg 11 on moat, the closest you can get down to that corner. So I've told him what to do. Fish for carp, chuck across. So he's had his orders today. I don't want to fish for carp. He's an idiot. Fish for carp. <laughs> <clears throat> and you'll get them big skimmers as well. <clears throat> and I've drawn Peg. What have I drawn? I got a clue you didn't show him. Sorry, you are 14. Yes, you are. I thought I won. I didn't even draw. It, it, this it, is it, what I'm going to put. This is what he, I'm going to I've written it on the end. He, he, he is. He is he's 14. on 11 on bridge. <laughs> I'm, I'm on 11 on bridge. What I do an apologize. absolute idiot. I'm going to cut that out. <laughs> no, you in. I'm leaving it on mine. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm on 14. Uh, right, start again. Alan, you've drawn, I've drawn Alan Peg 14. Oh, absolute flyer. <laughs> on the MPEG, <laughs> I've told him where to throw. Oh, and uh, I'm on 11, 11 on bridge. I can't yes, he's off, he's yeah. off. <laughs> thank, yay! Thank God for that, he's gone, people. He's gone. Oh, God, oh, go. God he's back. He's back. Go. <laughs> so, yeah, 11 bridge I'm on. I'm quite happy with that. I'll just chuck across. I'm doing something a bit different today. I'm not messing about with Budworm and Joker. I'm going to fish for carp and big skimmers. I'll mention in Bloodworm and Joker, uh, Taffy's Bloodworm, thanks a lot mate for supplying all these guys with your Bloodworm and Joker, you've done a mighty job, well done, so much appreciated. Well so done, well go. done, thanks for, thanks for being... It's called Taffy's Bloodworm. There you go, Confident. if you want to order it, get it ordered. <clears throat> Oh, uh, any other shout outs while we're here? Alan? No, we'll do we'll do the other stuff at the <clears> end. <throat> I've got Tommy Pickering to my right, he's on 17. Mm hmm. So I think yep. we might be having a quid on with Tommy. Yeah, that'll be nice. He's in form at the minute and all, isn't yeah. he? Oh, yeah, He's absolutely yeah. awesome at the minute. Uh, anyone else? Um, Alex Bones did well yesterday. Well done, mate. Oh, God. Wake... She's bringing up yesterday again. I don't want to hear about Waco and drawing one two. I know, but we've got to I talk about want... Waco. Just a quickie. He was panicking yesterday, wasn't he? I don't know. He was, chuck... he was chucking all over, re-sticking up. I was thinking, he's panicking here. Mm -hmm. And then he wins, mate. And then he wins, mate. Anyway, anyway forget anyway. that. Last week, you could have won that section on there last two weeks ago, and I watched oh, I watched your God, video. I watched again. his video, and he was saying, "Oh, Dave ain't going to be happy at this," and he's got this skimmer. Oh, you, you bloody thing! No, two pounder folks. Hey, folks, I've got a skimmer on, folks. <laughs> I've got another simmer. Take it ages landing it like that. And it, anyway, it pops its head up. It's about two pound it is. And then for some reason, it pops hard, head up and you go, whoa, we a rod right back, pull its freaking head off no, and it comes off. It flips its head. I'm gentle when I lift them and then just go, <laughs> flip the head like that and it's like, pops out. That could have won you a section when God you got money for skimmers. that. And he's like, would he won't be happy? He won't be happy, folks. <laughs> I know he won't be. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, so would he see his video? 
Oh well, that's fishing for you, folks. I should have cut that bit out. Uh, I, I, you know, when I was watching it, I thought I was getting angry and angry <laughs> watching it. I thought I'm trying to be nice to this fella. <laughs> I'm trying to be nice. <laughs> I'll tell you what, that New Year's resolution, like that joining Jim into it, that, it hasn't lasted for that, that, it's that, two weeks broken. it's lasted and it's proper on me. Yeah, I've got I've had a McDonald's, I've got four <laughs> Snickers, two two uh, double deckers, oh, big say. pork pie. Dave, do you know Forget do you, you realise we've actually got a fishing match to crack on with? Yeah, no, we're best going, haven't we? I've got to go and get some bait, so right. Right, uh, good luck for the last match good luck. in the uh, series of the Feeder Master Winter Pairs. We want to thank Lee Kevitt and Mick Viles, don't we? No, we'll do that at the end. Oh, forget them. I've had yeah. enough from you. Idiots. <laughs> Right, we're on the peg. We've drawn peg 11 on bridge. Um, I think I've been down here sort of before, a little bit further up, maybe two pegs further up in a feeder masters in the summer and had over 100 pound. That was quite a long time ago, but um, it's flat calm. It's quite warmish but I am doing something different today so let me turn you around and I'll show you what I'm going to do right so I've got a Cortex 11 foot, 11 foot zero limits rod I have got um, a window feeder on it but I've put as you can see a nice little hook on there, 14, with a 5mm wafter, which is one of these critical wafters. Um, and I've got a nice little size KM2 14 hook on. I might change that to a six, uh, a 12 if I start missing bites or something, but I wouldn't have thought so. I thought that'd be ample. In the old bait ones, I've got fishery micras. I've got fishery micras with a bit of krill in. I'm going to mix them in in a minute. And then I've got some maggots to band on the hook. Now I know on moat, they've been catching a cross. I'm not too sure on bridge, but in the summertime, you do chuck a method to the other side down the middle and short so I'm going to go for that really 
Alan's drawn peg 14 as we said we got it mixed up he is the end peg though um, and I've said to him just look chuck across them bigger skimmers uh, uh, further across as we know in that feeder mass in the golden rod that we fished they seem to be the bigger skimmers across on the other side so he's going to give that a whirl anyway let him do what he wants because it's his match uh, you know Alan he, th he likes to fish for skimmers he wants to fish on moat that's why he gets me to draw because in in the bag it's both bridge and bridge in it so whoever draws first gets on bridge or croft so <clears throat> yeah i ain't seen any fish move top or anything um i have got another rod set up behind me and that's just in case I think that this isn't working and it's the wrong decision but I'm going to stick it out for as long as I can on this and if I do if I do get fed up with it I'm just going to have a nice day and just try and catch some fish I'm not fishing for anything so it doesn't matter we're well down in the league just try to do, and do your best isn't it? so that's the plan uh, I've got Lee Kevy next door someone drilling up there and then I don't know who else is up there, not really seen. Uh, some lads from Southfield, I think, next door. Down there. Um, I can't remember who it is. Anyway, we're not bothered about that. All we're bothered about, nice day. Hopefully catch a few fish. And, um, yeah, get some carp. And some, some of them bigger skimmers. That's what I'm hoping for. Lovely day, not going to rain. So, yeah, looking forward to it. Come on, let's get cracking. We're pretty much two minutes from the off. So I'm gonna feed this short line. a few pellets and ground it and stuff and then we'll chuck out long that's the plan loads of bait in this time just a few bits
old pellets and ground beer. Move on to this. Done with fishing. Lots of lines done. So we'll stick on this for a bit. I'll turn it. I've got a few pellets, a few uh, wafters, and maggots, and we'll just all turn at them. See if we can get a few fish early on, and uh, go from there. Right. It is 12 o'clock, and I've had one liner. It's absolutely freezing. I don't know why it's cold here. It's like three degrees colder up in from where we are it's always been the same um, the plan isn't working at the minute I've switched from wafter to maggots um, over to the far bank I've dropped it in a few different spots I did have one, well I thought it were a bite but, well I picked up and there went off in there so, must have been a liner. Um, the lad in peg six, I think he's got two carp, the lad next door he's got a carp and a skimmer, um, the next door, the other side, I think he's got a few small bits and same down there really few odd small bits coming out um, nothing really to shout about for some reason it's bloody freezing oh well I don't know what it is it weren't this cold yesterday apparently though next week it's going to be ridiculously cold so I'm just going to crack on keep it going in over there put a little bit of ground bait in I think this time um, I've alternated from maggots to wafters um, and then I might probably have a chuck on that short line if this doesn't go in the next half an hour and uh, see if we can get a couple of fish in the net I have talked to Norrish and he has uh, he says he's got a couple of skimmers um, he said he's had a chuck at other side with a wafter on and he, he said he keep getting a few little knocks and he thinks it's the skimmers that are packing at the feeder and not taking his wafter. So it probably doesn't work unless you've got a method feeder on, does it? But I'm going to keep going on it. Um, it might as well be, I might have to start fishing maggot, put a few fish in the net. But like I said, I thought it could have uh, kicked off over there. Hmm. let's keep going they might turn up but there's loads of them big bream in here so you would have thought that when you, you come and fish at method you catch them you just can't let me catch them on the normal conventional so yeah another half an hour on this two or three more casts and then if not I'll have a look on that maggot line see if we can catch a couple of fish even for camera so we don't blank um and then just keep going at it yeah that's it that's your update all right all right i'm gonna have to go on this line and we finally got one or have one 
There you go. There's no big end of that at the minute. We'll carry on this, see if we can get a few more and go from there. I'm gonna have me Maltesers. Awesome snap bait. Kind of cool, you know. What I'm having is my snacks. I won't ask Lee what he's got. Probably a Turkish delight or a bounty. Right, crack on. Well, go around again. <coughs> time out there for nothing. Right, let's see if we can get his father.
right shallow bottom. Okay, let's hope it. I thought it was going to get better. It was only an hour and a half left, or an hour and 15 minutes, I think, or. Probably just going to stay on this and see if we can put a few more ounces in the net. But yeah, not looking good. I've um, had a chat with Nosher and he says he's got eight or nine skimmers now. He says he's got one, of, one about a pound and a half and uh, he just got one while they were up phone to me so he's doing quite well in his section he says so yeah let him uh, crack on hopefully he'll win the section we'll get a bit of money back but um, Lee carries caught quite a few he's probably got about six or seven pound I would have thought um, and these two lads have caught some carp and some skimmers as well so further up there but my plan the uh, first two and a half hours over there looking for a bigger fish or a bigger bream or even a carp even just to put in the net didn't work out and I didn't like them wafters as we first thought so I've had to change to this just to put a few fish in the net um, and just enjoy the day really so I'm going to crack on see if we can catch a couple more fish but uh, like I said only an hour and 15 minutes left and we'll uh, see what happens on this but I think the small fish everyone's saying that they've not got much but I reckon they've got a few bits and bats down there One's got another carp, I think. So I've caught, caught quite well there. Hammered me anyway. Little knock on that then. Yeah, so not the greatest day, but like I said, Half an hour now left, 40, half hour, 40 minutes I think. Well no, not even that. A bit less. Um, I'm just going to carry on, see if we can catch a better skimmer short or maybe a bream summer. Um, Lee's done quite well and then these two lads above me have done alright as well. I think um, we've uh, dropped a bit of a Balak, not uh, having bloodworm, and just trying to fish maggots and um, 
well, fishing pellets weren't we at the start and not uh, not getting anything on that so yeah seems if you haven't got a method feeder on and all the baits around the method feeder you don't seem to get them skimmers so see if Nosha pulls it out of the bag and gets the section win on the last day and then that's it dreadful days fishing freezing still nice to be out I suppose isn't it There's so many loads of ducks on here. I think Mick Val's had a few swans around him who were cursing earlier on. He had a quite a good selection of uh, snacks, did Mick Val's. Um, better than yesterday's. Yes, I think um, next time we'll have to have a rethink next year and see. Uh, I think we did get it right, we're just not drawing the pegs. Keep going on this. If I get a big and I'll uh, film it for you. If not, we'll see you at the dreaded weigh-in and uh, a chat with Alan in the van. The whole world. I got a bigger one.
Not sure. Right, let's get to the weighing. Yes, we're on, Alan. We're on. Am I in your shot? Looks like uh, we'll be one. It should be. Can't miss me. Well, what a day. Um, I fish pellet, as I said, I were going to do for three hours. And I've had one liner, and I thought, what are you doing down there? That one, monkey. Yeah, I'll have a banana. You're yeah, bloody right, it is. You'll be starving, won't lad. Oh! What you got in there? That. What's that? Get out of it. I love that on the way home. He's he's tight as do you know I don't tweet. I and I thought I were tight, right? And I've given him loads of stuff. And yesterday I bet it broke his freaking back to give me that egg sandwich no, yesterday. No it didn't. It's I bet he was absolutely crying his head off. When I, I saw size at sandwiches, I thought, I will eat them after that. Right, right, right. You're lost, mate then. No, I haven't it. Oh, right. but that, I'm sorry Dave, I know it's got chocolate on it, oh. but Alan's on oh, it. Oh my, you can have it. Looks great. Swiss roll thing or whatever. Yeah, yeah. enjoy that. Yeah. Um, so, anyway, I fished pellet for three hours, and I had one liner, and I fished wafter on that far bank with a window feeder, as I said I was going to do, and then I tried chucking it down the middle and underarming it, and for three hours I had nothing. Lee Kerry caught a few early doors. Lad next door caught a few early doors. And then I thought, hmm, this ain't, this ain't no good. <laughs> <laughs> so I grabbed my other rod, uh, changed it to a single maggot, because that's all I had. I had maggots and wafters, yeah. uh, a little bit of ground bait and pellets. That's all I had. Yeah. And uh, I changed to maggot, and I started getting a couple, and I've ended up with five skimmers um, for three pound eight. Three pound eight, three hours. You could have had some more, or couldn't well, you? Well, I, I, I know think, you set your tack, you set your mind I, on. I, I set it out, didn't I? And I wanted yeah. to try that, and I thought that. Yeah. Because they're taking them wafters, mm. and little wafters, like, won't believe. But it's 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 the old mouse trapping it around yeah. the, around the yeah. method feeder. They up the sense by mistake, don't yeah. They? Of course they do. <laughs> yeah, eating up pellets. Oh, what's that? Big yeah. dirty oak inside at mouth. Yeah. yeah, I've I've got him. Yeah. So that's what it is, isn't it? So I've done um, terrible in section. Lee Kevy's had fourteen pound next door, uh, underarming and and fishing short, which you know which that that was the normal tactics what we know yeah fishing bloodworm and and what have you and and it's um, he's, he's good at that into the the yeah the practice at all the time they're very good at it aren't they so, so well done Lee. yeah i've i've cocked it up but i've learned a few things so it's always a bit of a learning thing isn't it that was and, really loose today well, they were, no. it, it, it were like it could have happened where them three pound skimmers might have been yanking it around every yeah yeah every yeah. other cast yeah. Yeah. yeah you just don't know but we just know it don't work. I mean, I had little, <laughs> we know now it don't work. Don't well, I had a little go over there and I was getting dink. And I just thought, I thought exactly the same as you. They're not taking it same. But I was hoping a carp had come along and sucked Yeah, it yeah. I mean, like you said, I could have chucked out, had four carp, yeah. then got four pound of skimmers. And you know what I mean? It, there, it, it's yeah. there, isn't it? But it didn't happen and anyway. The carp so. definitely weren't feeding today. They didn't feed yesterday in open match. It's been poor. We had a bass and one, it's the yeah, not feeding. Yeah. So. So how have you got on? Peg, end peg 14. Yeah. We're going towards the carp area, it's quite shallow down here. I couldn't believe how shallow it yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, Um So I won't have a thrill that it was, I, I guess it's about five foot tops. But there were no count on bomb, they just went ding. So I'm guessing four to five foot max. Um, baited a 24, I, went, I decided to go 24 meters today. All right. Just because it was shallow, I thought I'll go a bit further oh. out. 24 meters put two feeder falls in and I had a good hour and an hour and a half long but I changed after 50 minutes to maggot and I got a few skimmers long on maggot 
after indications I were getting and then it went dead so on to the middle line I went and I had a few not a lot it was a game of patience you know five six minute casts well, yeah. normally normally the same get in and out every two or three minutes out there but now I sat and be a bit patient one or two skimmers odd <coughs> decent one um, I've no idea what weight I got by then with an hour to go I fed my short line went on my short line and there's footage and I've got some nice fish on the short line so I've ended up with 18 skimmers 18 or 19 I might have forgot one or two I don't know and a roach for about a roach about five hours for ten pounds twelve. Unfortunately, I lost a pound to Tommy because he had twelve pound seven, didn't he? So he's, he's nicked a quid off me. I needed another big bream at him. So does he want section? No, no. Barry Armson uh, has caught loads of big and short. Oh, he's had twenty odd pound, twenty five pound. Yeah, I look round and I just saw him landing these two pounders every chuck in. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> When, when you're on him, you're on him, aren't you? Yeah. So, and he's caught a white maggot, he said. I've tried white maggot, never had a bite down here. I mean, it took some getting going, but I enjoyed it in the end. All right. Can't complain with £10.12 off there. So, I think the end of it all, uh, I think you're the winner this year, aren't you? Because you've won a section and you beat me about three times, I think, haven't you? Mm. Yeah. Oh, three, no, four times. Yeah. So you've done quite well this this year. Uh, What's that say? Dickhead, it says. Has it? Yeah. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. <coughs> um, <laughs> listen. <laughs> I, it, the start. Of the, I don't want to keep saying it. It's the start of the year. Uh, 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 listen, I'm trying to. I was trying to. I'm not making excuses. You've done well. I'll yeah. leave you to it, Alan. Yeah. You've done well this year, and um, better. You've done better. Yeah, that, put it that way. Yeah. yeah. Um, but the winners of it are Steve Ringer and Frankie Janicella, and then uh, I'm sure we'll put the results up for you, and you can have a look through. Yeah. Um, I don't think we'd have moved up any places at all unless someone's. Uh, not turned up, yeah. um, not turned up, and uh, we might have sneaked up a place or two. <laughs> 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 or uh, yeah, or oh, the car broke down on way here. Yeah, hopefully. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, it is what it is. We've learned again, but we need to start putting it into practice, don't we? And I think um, if I can, if we can start getting the weights like that next year 10 pound 12 pound and then that's what you know need, one of us backs it up we another we are seven or eight nine yeah then that's that's that where we are right there. Right. it keeps you with a shout yeah it? yeah and it's only like you say it's not masses of difference is it it's just them extra two or three pound it makes yeah. all the difference yeah it does it? definitely it's massive so um i don't think we've had the best sort of pegs have we or anything like that and no well, that's I... probably the best peg you've drawn isn't it at the, the time, <laughs> well, I don't, you know what I mean. It's good as an end peg, but it's not a renowned skimmer peg. It, it's like carp, isn't you'd, it? Really? You'd have been running to that if it were golden rod, oh, wouldn't it? Yeah, carp. if it were for carp, and I, I could have chucked to that platform like opposite mm. peg, on peg mm. two. I'd have been rubbing my hands together, but it's skimmers we're after, really, isn't it? So, yeah. And I got a few, so that'll do. I thoroughly enjoyed it, Dave. Um, well, Massive I've learning been... curves, isn't it, with these? And, the, and there's some great anglers, isn't there, that do this week in, yeah, week out. Yeah, I've still enjoyed it, even though we've not done anything. It's still nice, and it's it keeps us ticking over in the winter time, yeah. doesn't it? Keeps you on your toes. Um, and keeps you thinking and what have you. So yeah. I do. I think next year we'll have another go. What do you think? Oh, defo for me. I I, I love it. You can only get better. <laughs> that's what I think. Yes. And he's and he's coming on. I tell you, this year, get ready. Get ready. Get he's ready. the man to watch. Alan Norris, <laughs> the mighty. Oh, oh sorry. I might get dickhead. <laughs> <laughs> hey, oh, so we're throwing bird, bread out for birds here. Uh, God, he's got it right. Uh, two, two minutes with them seagulls, yeah. kitty mates, or whatever they're called. Yeah. So we've got a thank you to say, haven't we? Have we? Yeah, Lee Kerry, Mick Viles. So no baits. Um, very, very well run, isn't it? 
Oh yes, very very well run, and uh, massive thanks to Lee Kerry and yeah. Mick Miles for doing all the stuff, and Sono Bates for sponsoring the event. Yeah, superb job they're doing. Yeah, it. it's been fantastic. And all the little helpers, Frankie Jam and Jelly, and I know um, what Jeans what they call him, uh, Matt Godfrey helps out runs in. Yeah, they're all mucking now and again. So well done, lads. And Lee and everything, the fishery and manager here. He yeah, comes out and weighs in and stuff, doesn't he? He always has a good laugh with yeah, me. And that, lovely pair of lads, them too. Do a great job, don't Yeah, they? good Can't job. Can't complain It's a great job. All appreciated by everybody. So thank you very much. Yes, and a massive thank you to each and every one of you out there who have watched the video every couple of weeks yeah. and cheered us on. Yeah! And uh, give us some grief when we've not caught out <laughs> and all the great comments we get. So thanks very much to all you out there for yes. uh making us try it try harder every yeah. time don't we we oh, yeah. we do we do try don't we oh, you know God, what i mean yeah. so yeah. uh yeah it's much appreciated so thanks for everybody out there watching um it does mean a lot it certainly does thank you very much and uh that's it alan we're uh i'm absolutely knackered what are you having for tea tonight well, if they enter, um, if they enter Sunday lunch already for me when I get home, there'll be some rolling pin for life. Bloody hell, eh? I don't know what happens in your rolling pin. <laughs> Cloudy, God right. shit. It was me Clouting. Dinner. God, that's... <laughs> it's that, an old You can't do it? that in these times, Alan, now. <laughs> you know, <laughs> what happens <laughs> <laughs> in locked doors? Thing, Bloody hell. some rolling pin when I get me dinner in the table. Bloody hell. Listen. <laughs> If no. you're in trouble, Alan's wife, give me a ring. I don't I have no idea what we've got. It could be roast pork, roast beef, chicken, I don't know. It'll, it'll, I'm sure you'll have some on the table for when you yeah, get back. Yeah, she will. I yes. think I'm going to have fish and chips tonight. Oh, yeah, You love fish, fish and chips, don't you? I, and you know, I had them for a couple of weeks. Absolutely love them. Fish and chips mm. tonight. Got the kids coming round. And then, um, yeah, be nice. Fish yeah. and chips. Mushy well, peas, curry. Are oh, you having both? Mushy peas and... No, I, I don't have both. I'll have mushy yeah. peas and Gra Gracie likes curry. She likes yeah. curry sauce. It's nice to dip chips in, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So that's for tea tonight. Yeah. And um, yes, that's it. It is. There's no funny business tonight. We're going to keep it serious. And um, <laughs> yes, very humbled that we've uh, we've done all right and it's all right, isn't it? What, what more can we say, Alan? Yeah. I, I want to get off. Right, uh, okay then, mate. Well, we've got loads coming, haven't we? Absolutely loads coming for the future. Loads of matches. There's Fisher Main here. There's maybe a match this is. Gold. I've got, have you got any golden rods left? Yeah, I've got a Lind uh, Lindome. Lindome. And, uh, I'll try and get one for that. Oh, don't there's there's all sorts of stuff. So, lots to be going at, folks. And, uh, it's only the start of the season, isn't it? This this yeah. time, yeah. it's better when it starts getting a bit bit more warmer and the fish are moving a bit more and stuff like that. But um, Yeah, because if you don't join them... Yeah, <laughs> you don't catch up, do you? It's simple as. It. <laughs> um, but no, yeah, can't wait for the season ahead. UK champs, all the feeder masters, all that stuff. Yeah. And uh, hopefully this time we'll get into... <laughs> what are you laughing at? You haven't done it for ages. But no, yeah. <laughs> I'll try and not do it now because you just take piss out of me. You did it though, didn't you? Didn't, didn't. Yeah, no, but, but no. Yeah, but no, but no, but yeah, but no, but yeah. <laughs> Right, I'm off. Right. Thank you very much for watching. It's much appreciated. And um, make sure you subscribe up to the channel and uh, give us a thumbs up, Alan. Come on, monkey! Come on, monkey! Come Yay! on, monkey! <laughs> uh, and little monkey as well. What's up with little monkey? It looks really Ta worn out. It's Tommy the tea bag monkey, isn't it? It's like it, big monkey's been having away with the little monkey. Ah, bless him. <laughs> <laughs> right. Um, yes. See you soon. Keep on bagging. And don't change. forget, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay. I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays. Way back a year ago. I've right, guys, thanks for tuning in on the video. If you want to see more videos, time. hit this awesome playlist down here. I Make sure you hit the subscribe button and if you want to become a member, hit the join button. Thanks for watching the video guys. We'll see you soon. Keep on bagging.